All right, today I want to address a simple question, and that is, what fraction of an iceberg is sticking up out of the water, and what fraction of an iceberg is submerged beneath the surface of the water? See, when an iceberg is just floating in the water, there's an equilibrium between the buoyant force acting up on the iceberg and the force by gravity acting down on the iceberg. And we can prove that because if the buoyant force upward was not equal to the force by gravity, this iceberg would either sink deeper into the ocean or take off like a rocket. Now mathematically we can show this as the buoyant force is equal in magnitude to the force by gravity. Now you'll notice I haven't given you a size or dimensions of this iceberg and I haven't given you a mass. So coming up with the actual force by gravity is impossible. But what we can say is this force by gravity is given by the mass of ice multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. Now we've reached the key to the entire problem, and that is Archimedes' principle. See, Archimedes' principle says that the buoyant force which acts on any object is equal to the weight of fluid which it displaces. And in this problem, that means the weight of seawater which is displaced by the iceberg is going to be equal to the buoyant force. So that's gonna be the mass of the seawater multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. That's going to be equal to the mass of the iceberg, again multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. And you see the G cancels out. So now we have this simple equation that tells us, regardless of the size of this iceberg, the mass of seawater displaced by the iceberg is going to be equal to the mass of the ice. Now the only values we know in this problem are density. So what I want to do is relate mass to density through volume. You'll remember, mass is given by density multiplied by volume. So substituting in for the mass of the seawater, we're actually gonna have the density of the seawater multiplied by the volume of the seawater displaced. And on the other side of the equal sign, we're gonna have the density of ice multiplied by the total volume of the iceberg. And it's important to recognize this volume of seawater displaced is actually the volume of the iceberg which is submerged beneath the water. So rearranging this equation slightly, this equation, which is relating the amount of the iceberg which is submerged under the surface to the overall size of the iceberg. Now plugging in our values for the density of the ice and the density of the seawater, we find 89% of the iceberg is actually sitting underneath the surface of the water. That means if you see an iceberg on the ocean, only 11% of it is sticking up out of the water. Most of it is underneath the water. And on that note, that's all for now.